Hi everyone and welcome back to Chellington where today we're going to be moving the bales. Now this machine we have in front of us is obviously the IT runner and this is the bale trailer and we're going to use this to move the bales from the field to the yard but to a few people's disappointment we are going to use the auto stacker to actually get them to the side of the field. Now in the comments yesterday someone said that it would be heavily unrealistic to use an auto stacker uh, to move the bales and stack the bales because obviously they'll be too high and you don't normally see wrapped bales that high so if it was less bales for example 20 I would use this for everything we'll do it all with the telehandler and this however there's 48 bales there and they're all very unevenly spaced apart they're all all over the place and for simplicity's sake using the auto stacker is just the sensible and obvious thing uh, for farming simulator but yeah obviously in real life you wouldn't do that so I'm not being 100% realistic here and I know that will disappoint a few of you however when we're moving them from the field we will use the uh, proper equipment I promise that and um, and I don't like being unrealistic it has to be said but you know 48 bales with my stacking skills it's just not really going to work so we're going to get the auto stacker today and it's this one here I've used the Matty Ferguson tractor quite a bit recently, so I'm going to use the class tractor today. We'll just get it warmed up. Of course, it's done its little manoeuvre, so we're just going to have to get out of this mess. We may just have to drop it there, actually. Straighten it up. Something to do with the ploughing spec that does that, but it's not a massive problem. Anyway, we'll go over to the shop, we're going to pick up our new auto stacker, and we'll get it done. I'm not going to leave them stacked high like that for very long because I know it's unrealistic. We will move them properly very soon, but probably after we've done some harvesting. I'm sure most of you won't even mind that I use the auto stacker, but it's just, you know, I'm aware of the, the realism point of view. This is where it should be. There it is. Actually, it doesn't stack it too high. I honestly don't know how high you would stack them in real life. Is it three or two? Right, final day in the field. Off we go. We'll get it finished off. And if we've got some time, we'll put the IT runner on and we will go and sell another trailer load of grain. Field looks good from the road. It's a load of little white dots. Now I shut the gate yesterday, so we're going to have to open it again today. But once we're finished, we'll shut it again. You can actually hear the air suspension. I'm assuming that is in the seat, or the cab. I don't think I've done off-roading with the class yet. Okay, here goes. 48 bales, 48 remaining.
to stack these over at the gate, somewhere around there, so that we can easily bring a traction trailer in with the loader, quickly move them out of the way when we need them. Almost missed that one. That's 100%. So we'll start our stack. I think somewhere, as long as it's flat, I think it's flat. I oh, know it's not. <laughs> There's a bit of a bump there. Uh, probably about here then. Out there. You can see the terrain. Hmm. Actually, maybe not. Possibly the other side, but I don't know, it's a bit too rough there. Should be okay here. If they all fall off, we know why. But it seems okay. So we'll get the next load. See, if I was doing this with the telehandler, putting them on a trailer and then unloading them again, I would literally be here all night because my round bow stacking skills are really bad. My square ones are pretty good, as you saw from my Carver Park Farm series, but when it comes to round ones, uh, no, <laughs> they're just not good. It's not even worth bothering. But I will be doing them with the IT runner. It shouldn't come off the back of that trailer either because it's got a really high back. I am making it easier for myself, but that is also making it more enjoyable to watch, I find. Because who wants to watch me fail? Probably a bit too far apart, actually. It doesn't have to be exact. Okay, it's going well. I've done four loads. It's going to take a while, but it's not a massive job. It would be if we were using the loader. Just going to wait for that to push it back. Okay, so I'm not sure how many there are. There's probably one more trailer load. Looks like it. So it should be an even number of trailer loads. So the stack won't look weird. Didn't mean to hit that. That would have burst it. Okay, so there's two, four, six. So it's not going to be a full one, but not bad. I think that's in line. Drop that one there. Let's go and get the final load.
That's three. Three remaining. And the final bail. There we go. So I don't think I've missed any. I hope not. Can't see any. Unless that is something. What's that there? I don't think it's anything. Although, there is something in there. Does it roll? It is a bale. Wow, I <laughs> just about saw that. Well, we'll try and fish it out of there. I'm uh, not sure how. I have no idea how it's got there because when the uh, wrapper does it, it drops them on the flat side so they don't roll. So I don't know why it's done that. There could be more in the river or something. Or in the ditch. Still, it's going to look okay. This is where I reverse into it and knock it all down. Can't quite see actually, the trees are in the way. I'll go in cab. I think that's okay. A little bit further. I don't want to be inside another stack because it will knock them down. There. Okay, we'll fold that up then. And we'll have a look at it. That's going down, good. So yeah, shame it's in the middle, the one which is missing, but I think overall it looks reasonable. If it was three high it'd be better, but you know, it's just the way it does it. So, we'll take this back, we'll go and hitch onto the IT runner, and we'll go and sell some wheat or barley. Been looking forward to using the IT runner pack. And to those of you who keep asking if I play spin tires, um, I know someone who does play it, but personally, I haven't played it. I've seen a lot of videos of it. I don't own it, so uh, I, I haven't done any videos. But, uh, I don't know, maybe it, at one point I will do. I'm quite happy with Farming Simulator, really. I find that to be uh, one of the most popular games, actually. It is one of the only games I do, though, so I could try out some of the games. Idea then is to designate different sheds to different pieces of equipment. Everything I, I, I've just dumped in there for now, but I do need to sort it out. I think the bailing kind of equipment is good down here. That's where that stack is. So I will put it in there. I will have to take the IT runner's bale trailer off. Looking forward to using that Lexian as well. Lovely machine. Uh, now as the Massey Ferguson's already on it, I think we may as well use that. So I will just turn this off, but I won't block in the trailer we need. That would have been stupid. We'll just park it there. Put the handbrake on. Right. So, I will just remove this. Just have to pull forwards though. And we'll put the 
blue one on. It's a bit of an angle, not ideal. Seems to be pulling it round okay though. I do like the interchangeable trailer backs, that is very handy. You don't even have to take the trailer off. But, not that we need such a big trailer, but we'll fill as much as we can in there. About 8,000 litres. Not much. That's it. It hardly seems worth doing it actually, but it, we do need the money. We do, because we've only got £2,000. Once we've got more, we'll do full trailer loads. That is a huge trailer. That's why I was using the Marshall yesterday, but then it just struck me, why would I use that if I've got this new IT runner pack? Seems a bit of a waste of money, really, if I don't use it. But, yep. Yeah, same ending as yesterday, actually. We'll uh, head over to Cell Point. Oh, pull that in front of that car. Whoops. And we'll get going. It's even got a beacon on the back. So we start our new map tomorrow. Hopefully everyone's looking forward to that. It's a big secret. I have not actually said anything about it at all. I probably shouldn't do but it is different it's definitely different to this map okay I'm assuming this is a rear tipper if it is going to hit the roof. Yeah, but hopefully it won't have enough in there to... Yeah, good. Fantastic. So we'll just take this back to the yard. Don't want to dump it here again like I did yesterday. And we'll go and park it back in the shed. Now that field's finished, we'll be able to start on something new next week. Uh, I don't know whether it will be starting off with drilling and then doing some harvesting, or whether we'll just get straight into the harvest. Uh, I, w I am looking forward to using that Lexian, like I say, so I wouldn't mind doing some harvesting. But I think when we've done one field, I will just drill a lot of fields, and then we'll do one big harvest after that. Because it seems a shame it's just sitting there, and we're not using it. But well, this can go in the shed, so we'll just put it in here. And until next time, that's it from Chellington Farm. Thanks for watching, and bye for now.